works against Roaches simply because they do plus 30 damage versus armored. That is a huge bonus, and of course, roaches are armored units, so an immortal does a good 50 damage to a roach, which is insane. And a roach does a measly 10 to the immortal, so it is quite the, uh, the hard counter to the uh, roach. Sentries, of course, are a great counter to roaches as well, simply because Guardian Shield will reduce all damage, all range damage to friendly units inside the shield by two. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to use the hallucination ability for the sentries yet. That's something I'm going to have to remember to do next time I play Protoss. Meanwhile, back at our opponent's base, looks like they are two are masking up units. The purple Protoss isn't that bad. As you guys can see, he's also getting a nice mix of units, zealots, stalkers, yeah, sentries, and immortals. And meanwhile, the Zerg player, pretty wise tech choice here, going with Roaches and Hydralisks. I've also seen Mutalis play very, very well on this map, simply because whoever gets the first harass off is it's instrumental, really, to winning the game. Meanwhile, I'm moving my Observer in to scope out the scene here. Unfortunately, there is a cannon here. Hopefully, I don't wander it too close. Um, and as you guys can see, my Immortal is stuck. So my opponent here helping me destroy my pylon, even though I didn't ask for him to do that. And now I'm finding myself supply locked. Meanwhile, taking a look back over here, it looks like the Observer did go down, probably because of the Photon Cannon having detection abilities. And the Zerg player is spreading creep with these uh, creep tumors, which I'm not sure if it prevents teammate yeah i'm pretty sure it prevents teammates from building because of the creep which is kind of could be screwing over the purple player but meanwhile we are moving out with a pretty significant force here i've got ground troops while my teammate has opted air so we've got a good mix and that's that's always key you don't all want to go the same units if we all went void rays right now we'd be super vulnerable to those hydralisks and so we are going to move in here with my teammate taking the air and myself taking the ground and let's see what kind of damage we can inflict on our opponents. And here we go, the first big team battle going on here. That roach is getting quickly annihilated. I set up the Guardian Shield and uh, sent uh, the sentries use their force fields here, which is really screwing with my zealots. My zealots are not able to get into battle here and so those Hydralists can just sit back all day long and fire. More sentries, uh, shields are going down, guardian shields left and right, force fields is going down as well, and me and my teammate fall back. I'm actually telling my teammate to get back because I've realized that we have lost that battle, and if we were to continue for an, a longer period, we would have lost all of our army units there. And so this is a full abort mission, a full retreat back to the base, but my opponent here, not heeding warning, is actually sticking around with those void rays and so let's see what kind of damage he can do here and you guys are about to witness the true firepower of this fully armed and operational void rays and the hatchery goes down in a splurt of blood and goo and uh, brutelings as well they pop out of the uh, third buildings and these are the phoenixes the anti-air uh, the anti-air for the protoss pretty much but they are really pathetic right now they need a massive buff because they just for lack of better words kind of suck Although their, their anti-gravity ability is pretty cool, and this layer is going to go down as well. The Hydralists finally make it in here, but not before the Zerg player is revealed, meaning he's lost all of his hatcheries on the map. And that is really, really bad. Meanwhile, uh, my teammate here, the Red Protoss, continuing to do massive damage to our enemies simply by killing all of their main bases. And this Nexus 2 could be the next victim of a main base going down and yes this nexus goes down almost instantaneously to these void rays and the hydralists and phoenixes get in the mix and try to ward these units off but these void rays are so deadly i even consider them almost like a cheese unit because they can surprise your opponent so easily but all it takes is a couple of marines or hydralists or any anti-air what have you and all of them will go down very quickly so the only main base still remaining is this Nexus. Let's see if the Zerg player has enough money to rebuild, and indeed he does. He has 915, so he's still in this game, uh, and it's just going to take him a couple of minutes to get back into it. But they are severely far behind after that Void Ray 
uh, rapage, for lack of a better word, of those main bases. Meanwhile, myself, I am grabbing another Expo. And it looks like the Zerg player has actually moved out with a pretty eh, sizable, decently sizable force around the map. I've also got a Warp Prism here, but no units are loaded up in there. Meanwhile, back at base, we've been macroing this whole time. Our My teammate has actually gotten carriers now, so he's made the full tech switch to the next level of ownage, which is the carrier. Myself, I've actually got a couple of High Templars here, and I don't think I've casted any games with High Templars yet, so I hope you guys are excited to see this unit. Still has Side Storm. The damage has been slightly reduced to compensate for the fact that units clump up so easily now. Also has Feedback, which is the same as the Dark Archon Feedback. And I actually see my opponent here just chilling, so I'm, I'm wary of some kind of maybe perhaps a drop, an Overlord Doom drop or something, so I'm a little bit wary. Meanwhile, Purple Protoss is grabbing the gold minerals here. Every, every uh, team has one gold mineral area that they can take nearby, and this is the enemy team's gold mineral spot, so the Protoss has claimed that for himself. And really, right now, units are kind of just wandering the map, and it actually looks like this expo back here might have gotten taken out by the uh, Hydralisks and Roaches just roaming across the map. So my apologies for not catching that. But it does look like um, the enemy Protoss player has secured this Nexus up here at the top right hand, top left hand, uh, 12 o'clock position on the map. Getting a little confused with my timing here. Meanwhile, Purple Protoss 2 is getting carriers, so we might be seeing an epic carrier battle. Uh, meanwhile, Zerg is still recovering from...